Well, we came through through Cairo and down through the Suez. And that was a Strathmore. It was like a luxury liner. Bingo, and uh, at that time it was housey housey. <laughs> That's what we played every night. <laughs> we never stopped anywhere in the, in the Med. We came through and we stopped at the, um, around, around in the English Channel actually. But from there we went across to Southampton. And that was it, you know, back home. We arrived at Southampton at, at night. <laughs> Nobody there. We just demobbed, got off the boat, on the train and back home. And that was it. <laughs> My dad came back from, from the war. He got a train from Portsmouth up to Edinburgh, got off at Edinburgh. So they were up the high street heading down to the grass markets at Cougat. And he, tra he heard my granny's footprints, or footsteps behind him. He, he heard his mother's very distinctive footsteps behind him. And at the same time, my grandmother was thinking, I don't know what the world's coming to. Look at these soldiers. They're really scruffy, these two soldiers walking in front of me. And I knew his mother was still looking. You know, I turned around and I said, Hi, Ma. <laughs> she said, Oh. She said, I wonder who the two scruffy soldiers were in front of me. <laughs> um, she wasn't aware, of course, that they had come from a boat from India and then the overnight train from Southampton and arrived in Edinburgh earlier that day. But apparently my granny says he ran up the hill and grabbed me and cuddled me and whirled me around. And then she, he, he say, she says, where are you going? He says, I'm going to the house. She says, well, you'll not get to the house that way. We're moved. 